Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Clarence. As you guys know from last night, and if you follow me on Twitter, you guys know from updates, I have the new, well, not the new, but I have the Blackberry Bold 9000. So, I told you guys, if you follow me on Twitter, I just now posted a little while ago that I think I'm going to do a whole series on this phone. Right now, this is going to be a, um, a hardware overview. I might go ahead and do a software over overview, show you the OS. Might do some application reviews, pretty much just show you around the phone this down a little bit and um, pretty much I'm just going to show you the hardware the outside little gizmos and gadgets of the phone just to let you guys get used to it you know just show you guys around it so here's the front of the phone it's, it's really nice it the screen is amazing it's got the same resolution as the iPhone screen and like I said in my unkind of boxing video the uh, screen actually since it's smaller there's not really any pixelation. So since it's the same resolution as the iPhone, which you all know, almost everybody knows what the resolution's like on the iPhone, and it's really good, it's even better on here because the screen's smaller, so it's more compact with the pixels. It's sharp as can be. When I go over the... Um, I'm saying um and uh a lot in this video so far, but when I go over the software, the UI, the OS, all that stuff, I'll show you, I'll turn down the brightness and I'll show you this. I'm only going to turn this on once on here just to show you guys how fast it pretty much turns on. So right off the bat, you got your call key, your ever so loved Blackberry key, which is pretty much your menu on everything, the trackball, which I showed you guys yesterday, which I love, it's to navigate and to select stuff got your back button and you've got your in key and which is also your power key you've got a very nice QWERTY keyboard on this I really like it actually I've messed with a lot of QWERTY keyboards in my time mess with the blackjack mess with other blackberries mess you know I mess with the touch screens and this one's so far the best it's really easy to use the keys are really kind of, I don't know how well you can see it, but they've got kind of a texture, kind of a curve to them. And it really, they kind of form to your fingers a little bit, so it makes it really easy to use. So that's pretty much it on the front, except for the speaker at the top. Right here, you've got the speaker for speakerphone or any media. You've got a mute button, which also kind of puts it in like a sleep mode if you hold it down. Here, this side you've got your volume rocker. This, when you first turn on the device, when you first get the device, it's a dedicated camera key, but it's actually not dedicated. You can set it to being camera. It's pretty much just a soft key to set to anything you want. You go to your options, and you can set this to anything to open. I have it set to lock my device. And what one person in another video called a fake button it really doesn't do anything. It just looks like a button. Bottom, that's to take off the back, and you've got your mic. Already showed you that side. This side, got your fake button again, not really. Got your SD card slot. Open it up. SD card slot. Another soft key to set to anything you like. I have that set to Uber Twitter, which I will do a review on that. It's my favorite Twitter app for the BlackBerry so far. You've got your mini USB port, which is also for charging and for any other peripherals you can plug into it. And you've got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which I showed you last night. It is 3.5. I'd show it to you, but I don't have any headphones right this minute. That's pretty much it on the outside, except for you go on the back, you have your flash and you have your camera, it's a 2.0 megapixel camera, and a little Blackberry design. The back is a nice leathery texture feel, it actually feels like leather, which I like because you really don't have to get a case for it, and plus on Blackberry's website you can buy more of these backs, and you can buy them in different colors, you can get like a dark navy blue back, you can get a red one which is kind of maroon, and you can just get another black one. So really if this scratch up, scratches up, gets all messed up, just buy another one. It's about the same price as a case, not a big deal. So I'll take off the back. Got your insides right there. Got your battery. Now let me tell you, this battery is, as you can tell, super thin. Compare it to another stride gum pack. 
see here, set this up. It's like half the size of the gun pack. And it's long, it's super big. Let's see here, I'll actually compare it even more to the gun pack. Battery, gum. That thing, it's a huge battery. It's bigger than a lot of batteries on phones. But let's see if I can tell you the milliamps. 3.7 volt. Actually, it doesn't want to tell you anything. Won't tell you the milliamps. Can't tell you. There's where your SIM card goes in. Simple inside. Since the SD card slots on the outside, which is a good thing, and I really like. It's a big plus. You can get to it simple without having to worry about a thing. So I'll put in the battery. And I'll show you how fast it is to actually start your device. Actually, when you put in the battery, it turns it on automatically, so I'll go ahead and show this. Which I think is kind of a cool feature, too. You put in the battery, it automatically turns it on, so you don't have to just put on the back and wait, you know? So one thing about this I really don't like is how long it takes to turn off. Sometimes it just turns on automatically. If you don't do a full shut off, like if I would have just shut it off and then turned it back on without taking out the battery, it would have just came right back on like it was never shut off, like it was in sleep or something. But when you take out the battery or do a full shutdown of the device, it takes a while. As you can see, it's got the little clock spinning around in circles. And no, the lines you see flickering on it are not on my screen. It's just refreshing. That's what I've always thought is cool about TVs and monitors. When you see them recorded on video camera or on TV, you've got lines flashing, but it's not really there. It's just the refreshing of the CRT, but this is an LCD. But still, they refresh, so either way, I don't know why I'm rambling on. Making this video super long just to show you guys the hardware. I thought this would be a fast video. Sorry. Just want to show you how long it takes to turn on the device. It's about as bad as turning on the iPhone. It's going to be a good nine minute video just to show you the hardware. But guys, so far I'm really liking this phone. I've been using it for, what, three days now? And it's super. Very professional. That's what I like about it. The iPhone's more of a fun play around with the phone device, and there it is. You start searching for your network. It takes a tiny bit, so I'm not gonna. I'm automatically gonna tell you you can't just go turn it on as soon as it comes on. Start calling. It's gotta search for a network. It'll search for your Wi-Fi. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi turned on. I'll show you guys on another video the interface, operating system, all the stuff it comes with. Like I said, I'll do some app reviews. Loving the phone. Have any questions about it? Have any requests for any videos about it? Let me know. I'll be more than happy to think about making one. It depends on what it is. And guys, it's a good phone. If I were you, I'd go out there and get one. If you're ready for an upgrade and you want something a little more professional, a lot more business oriented, or just texting, messaging, anything oriented, like that's what I like about this. It's not like the iPhone. Like I said, iPhone's more of a yay, let's download a bunch of useless apps phone and it's really just not good, you know? I, I like it to death. I'll probably have another one in the future, and I'll probably get the 3GS instead. Won't make the mistake of getting the 3G again. But thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, request some videos if you'd like. I'd be more than happy to make you one. Hit me up on Twitter. Go on to twitter.com slash Clarence Smith. All is one word. And follow me on there. You can get some pretty random stuff, but also you'll know when a video is coming up. So thank you for watching. Check out my giveaway. I'm giving away the ice cam. And I'll show it to you, but it's somewhere else. I think I put it in another drawer. So peace. Love. Blackberry Bold. And Dr. Pepper Fountain Drinks. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.